innocence has been taken from this town. And it is a small college town of about 25 to 26,000 people. And there has not been a recorded murder in this area between 2016 and 2021. So this is a very serious crime that has happened that that's really shaken yard, this community to the core. Uh, and they have now, as they said during the press conference, interviewed 150 people, taken 4,000 photos, uh, so many pieces that's of evidence pretty. that they're combing through. So they wanted to tell yeah, us that they up. are working very hard to process street. all of that. But there was very little that that's they could sweet. say publicly because they said they wanted to protect the integrity of the investigation, knowing that this could all be used toward eventual prosecution. Alex? And we do get some answers very soon. Natasha Chen, thank you so much for all of your reporting on this story. Now, Russia has launched a new barrage of attacks on critical Ukrainian infrastructure, prompting an urgent meeting of the United Nations Security Council at the request of Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. And tonight, in a CNN exclusive, U Ukrainian resistance fighters are revealing how they help drive Russian forces out of the southern city of Kherson. CNN senior international correspondent Sam Kiley is on the scene for us tonight. Speak. Sam, this is remarkable. These civilians risking their own lives to help free their city that was held by Russian forces. Coming up from here on street. There's a cock and yeah, we've seen happen. in the past the role played by collaborators here, spies for Russia inside Ukraine, frequently arrested, calling in airstrikes, giving coordinates. But of course, with the same things going on in occupied territory, particularly in the city of Kherson, which was a hotbed of resistance, the first and only city captured that was a regional capital captured by Russia back in March. And from day one, the resistance started getting uh, doing its work and many of them were self-starters take a look archie killed twice while he was still a teenager if i'm the guy he stops to pee so i'm having a pee and then what did you do oh god i got a chill then he says he left his victim to bleed on the grass in the pitch dark Archie struck again moments later. Another drunk Russian soldier. Another throat cut. He acted alone, but now he was one of Herzl's resistance fighters. They were wasted. It had only been a few days since they entered the city. I finished the first one immediately and then caught up with the other one and killed him on the spot. I threw away the knife and the jacket covered with blood and just left. Archie was only 19 when the Russians captured his city in March. With a friend, he says, he drove around the city gathering intelligence to send to Ukraine's armed forces. At least 10 Russians were slaughtered 